Hey, my loyalties, it's your girl Naomi, and I'm back with another banger. And I say that because every video that I drop, every video my kids drop, it's gonna pop. Okay, so click that like button, that subscribe button, because we popping and we ain't stopping till we reach the top. Y'all heard me, so today, y'all. I'm finna make some uh, keto French toast with uh, raspberries and blueberries and uh, turkey sausage, turkey pan sausage, you know, for the kids, okay? This is gonna be my first time making a uh, French toast, period, okay? But we doing it, uh, I found a recipe where you can make it the keto way, okay? Because I told y'all we eating healthy, we switching things up, and I know, you know, y'all might be interested in seeing how to make fr keto French toast in case you don't know how to make it, okay? So, yes, let's go ahead. Oh, and I also got to do laundry and, you know, whatever else I got to do, I'm going to put in this vlog, you know? So, it's just a busy, productive day today, okay? And the kids didn't have school because of some type of spring holiday. So, you know, we chilling at home, okay? But I don't know, y'all. I be glad when my kids don't have school, you know? Uh, because, you know, they can sleep in and get a few extra hours of rest, and so can I. So, I be glad about that, okay? And... Before I start uh, showing y'all the ingredients, I want to tell y'all something. This ain't no promo. This ain't nothing. Okay, this is just because I want to tell y'all because I found it out. Okay, when I find out something that's beneficial for us all, I'm going to tell it. Okay, so if you have a Chevron gas station in your city, in your state, download the Chevron app. Okay, even if you don't have it and you're going on a trip or something, okay, um, or if you don't have it, you know, somebody who do have it in a city and state, tell them to download the Chevron app, okay, and sign up, make your account, and for the first three trips to uh, Chevron, you get a dollar off per gallon on your gas, okay? So, come on now, that, who don't want that, okay? That's gonna come in handy for a rainy day, that come in handy when you're trying to make your gas stretch the whole week, when you're trying to make it stretch to the next paycheck, okay? So definitely, y'all, download the Chevron uh, app, okay? And sign up so you can save a dollar off per gallon on your first three trips, okay? And tell everybody you know, to your family, to your friends, because with inflation and everything going up, we need to save, and y'all know gas prices are high, okay? So if you have a Chevron app, please download it, okay? Trust me, okay? It's going to help you save, and baby, that $15 you're going to put in that tank, that $20, that $10, it's going to stretch it a little bit more, okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that, but, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this French toast because we hungry, Okay? Okay, royalties, for this recipe, you're going to need the keto bread, or you can use regular bread, but i seen that they had used keto bread. Okay, this bread kind of expensive. For one loaf, it's $6, but if you got Sam's Club membership, you get two for $10 on keto bread, okay? Um, next, you're going to need pure vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and you can use no uh, granulated, no calorie sweetener, or it's this powder that you use. I'm gonna put it on the screen, um, but I couldn't find that powder no nowhere, or it was too expensive for me. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need that as well. So you can use the sweetener, or you can use the powder that I typed on the screen. Um, you're also gonna need two large eggs. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. Um, concoction and start on our French toast. Okay, y'all, here go our large two eggs. So I'm gonna crack that in now, okay? That's one. That's two eggs, okay? It says that you're going to need uh, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So I have heavy whipping cream right here, y'all, that I got from Sam's Club. They go one tablespoon and two tablespoons. I got to get the measuring cups for the tablespoons part, okay, y'all? So they won't mess up like that. Okay, we're going to need uh, one teaspoon 
It says one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Here we go right here, y'all. That's one teaspoon. Chunk that up in there. Okay. Next, we're going to need a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. So let's get the nutmeg first, royalties. Okay. It says half a teaspoon. Let me know, will y'all be trying this recipe? Do y'all eat French toast? You know, I know we like French toast. So I wanted to switch it up and, you know, try it a different way. Try it a little healthier way. I have never tried this kind of bread before, y'all. So we're going to see, you know, how this tastes with this new bread, you know. Okay, that was the ground cinnamon. Booyah! <laughs> okay, and then we're going to need two tablespoons of the powder or the no-calorie sweetener, okay? Okay, y'all, one tablespoon and then two tablespoons. Uh-oh, accidentally wasted some on the side. It's okay. Okay, and now we're going to stir it all together, y'all. Okay, and we're going to see how this turns out. This is all I'm making for right now. And if I need more, then I'll have to make up another concoction. But I think this will be enough. This should be, hopefully, because I really don't want to make another concoction. And then I thought about doubling it, but, you know, I don't want to make too much. I wanted to, to make it, you know, just the right amount, okay? I don't want to make too much and have leftovers, you know. Y'all get what I'm saying. You want to make sure that's stirred in there good. All right, that's how it's going. All right. Okay, royalties, now I'm cutting the French toast. I had to, um, you know, cut, practice it first before I show y'all. Because I told y'all this is my first time making French toast. So, you know, you just want to take the bread and you want to cut it this way. Okay? So, that's what we're doing. We're cutting the bread this way. That way it'll be enough French toast for everybody. So, right now, that's three. That's six slices. Okay? And this will be eight slices. So I think I'm going to do one more bread. Because I know we're going to want, you know, well, especially the kids. I know they're going to want, you know, more bread. They're going to love this, y'all. So I know they might ask for seconds. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cut up these two slices. And then we can get started on everything else. Let me know what y'all eat for breakfast today or what are y'all cooking for dinner tonight. Let me know. Come and talk to me in the comments. Okay, royalties, I put on the turkey sausage patties because, you know, those don't take long to cook. You basically heating them up, you know. So let me flip those before we get started on the French toast. We're going to see what's the difference between, you know, these and... The regular sausage patties, y'all. Just trying to, you know, switch things up. Still eat kind of the same, but, you know, add a little healthier ingredients and, you know, switch up the way, you know, we, we eat it. And so, like, I don't do no more fried foods. You know, I haven't been eating fast food restaurants, you know, stuff like that. Um, this one says it has 70% less fat uh, than in... USDA data for fully cooked pork sausage, 13 grams of protein per serving. Oh, and they put it with fruits and eggs. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, for the French toast, I got this butter, y'all. Smart Balance supports healthy cholesterol levels. Let me know if y'all use that butter as well or what type of healthy butter do y'all use um, when cooking, okay? That way I could try it out after I run out of this one. But we're gonna let this melt down into the pan and then we're gonna start on the French toast. Okay, Royalty, so I'm making the French toast now. Um, I'm letting that cook. You know, I dipped the uh, bread on both sides into the mixture that we made. And you just let that uh, cook on the skillet, you know? Same way you do regular French toast. And then flip it on the other side, y'all. Okay. 
the pan sauce is already done. That don't take long, but a few minutes to finish cooking, you know, because you basically just heating it up, you know. But let me let this cook, then I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to see how it's coming out. All right, sugar-free, low-calorie syrup, y'all. So this is going to be our first time trying it, and we're going to, you know, I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes. We'll let y'all know, you know, if we like it or not. But like I say, just trying to uh, do healthier options. Okay, royalties, I'm flipping the French toast around. It look like it's coming out right. We shall see when we taste it, okay? But I got a few more to do, so. I say you let it cook for about, you know, two minutes or so. Here are the kids' plate. Crystal is with my mom. That's why I'm not making her plate, y'all. She seen my mom, y'all, and she ran right to her with uh, arms wide open. So she was ready to go. How could you say no to Crystal, okay? <laughs> and when the kids don't have school, they are gonna be, you know, spending time with grandma as well and uh, their cousins and all that. Okay, so they got they pan sausage they got some blueberries raspberries and then we have the syrup and i know you sprinkle uh some of the little powder on top y'all but i don't want to do all that we just gonna give them some syrup then you know if they still hungry after that i fix them you know some more that we have because there's still a few french toast left okay so this is our breakfast for this morning hello baby doll say hello y'all <laughs> Yes, they ready to eat. It smells so good. Okay, royalty. It's gonna taste yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Yes, y'all see it. Okay, uh, I fixed theirs. Now let me fix mine. Okay, y'all. I'm pouring the syrup on mine, and we're gonna see what this tastes like. How did I do on my first time making French toast? Okay, how is it, y'all? The kids say it's good, so let's see. Thank you, Josiah. Yeah, it is good. Even though it says sugar free, it still tastes good and sweet. It don't taste like nasty or you know, you can't um tell that it's not sugar free. Okay, but I definitely liked it the way I made the French toast, y'all. Mm hmm. I definitely will be making it like this more often. It ain't too sweet or nothing. And the bread tastes like regular bread. What? Mm -hmm. So, you can use regular bread if you don't want to get the expensive keto bread. But I just wanted to give it a try, you know. Let's try the turkey sausage. Mm-hmm. Turkey sausage is good. And this is my drink, y'all. This is what I'm finna pour us to drink. It's saying saturated free and cholesterol free product and low sodium. Okay. And that's what we want. Okay. So I'm finna finish. I'm finna pour some to drink and finish eating. And then I'll be back to y'all once it's time to do laundry. Okay, royalties, Josiah wanted to show y'all he made a happy plate and ate all his food. That was quick. <laughs> and they sipping out of their cups that they got for Easter, y'all. Okay. 
It's good. <laughs> and baby doll almost done with her food, y'all. Okay, she wanted to let y'all know that. <laughs> If you bet cash, I'll be a rubber band You need a match, I'll be a While the clothes washing and drying, we're gonna get us some exercising in, okay? And remember, I told y'all, even if you can't go to the park, even if you're not able to make it to the gym for that day, you can always exercise at home. I got me some resistance bands, so I'm gonna do me some squats in a minute. Yes, I still got my birthday balloons up, y'all, okay? <laughs> I'll take them now, uh, you know, later on this month, once it's been a month, okay? But, um, yeah. So we just gonna exercise, we gonna stretch it out. So if y'all want to, y'all can get up and you know, exercise with me. Cause I told y'all we in this together. We gonna work out together, okay? We got this and we can do it, okay? We gonna stay consistent, okay? No matter what, we got this, all right? So yeah, I ain't gonna do too much talking. I'm just gonna exercise so I can save my breath. But yeah, y'all get it. So let me know if y'all gonna exercise, if y'all gonna be exercising with me. You know, um, did y'all did y'all get up and you know do some exercises or will y'all incorporate these exercises into y'all workout routine? Okay, but yeah, let's get started.
me what you said You said that you would come again You said that we would remain friends But you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one So why would you show up so uninvited Then just change my mind like that Please don't take this personal Hey royalties, it is the next day y'all after I exercised and soaked in the tub and I had a really good workout, okay? It was a really good workout. My favorite part was jump roping because when I was a kid, I used to love jump roping y'all, okay? Uh, but yeah, my thighs and legs are kind of like sore y'all because I did some squats, you know, I, I had a good workout, you know, um, walking and everything and yeah, the workouts that y'all see me do you know so i know that there's just you know um uh, my muscles and everything gotta get used to it so that's why i said i'm gonna stay consistent with it and let me know if y'all watched it to the end let me know if it motivated y'all you know will y'all be on this exercising journey with me and healthy journey we can do it child we're gonna stay with it we're gonna stay consistent no matter what okay but um yeah, I definitely want to keep doing this, you know, three to four times a week of exercising, okay? And even, you know, on the days that I choose to rest from it, I still want to get my steps in and, you know, go walking and everything. That way, some, uh, some, I got some type of exercise for that day, you know? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, smack that like button, y'all. And don't forget, come and talk to me in the comments let me know if you made it to the end of this video thank y'all so much for tuning in watching and supporting drop a heart emoji in the comments drop a fire emoji any emoji let me know that you have watched and yeah that'll be it for this video i pray that y'all have a blessed oh wait and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn y'all bell on so y'all can get notified every time i drop a video okay and share it to your friends tell everybody come subscribe and join the palace okay um i pray that y'all have a blessed night a blessed day and we will see y'all in our next video bye y'all peace peace out